Hello to you and welcome to The Score presented by the Roman Automotive Group. I'm Andy Newman alongside Caleb Saylor. Zach has the night off. This is your first time doing this, correct? This is the first time anchoring. I've shot football highlights before, yes. but doing sports highlights is a new thing for me. Yeah, definitely a little bit different for a meteorologist. But hey, we'll talk about the weather a little, a little bit here. Good oh, weather tonight. Yes, great yes. weather tonight. Yes, thankfully, and we'll get into our highlights right now. Carroll secured the SAC Conference Championship last week in their win at home over Northrop, but they're still on the hunt for a perfect run in the SAC this year with a victory at Northside. The Chargers and the Legends meet in our signature matchup. Captains meeting up at midfield ahead of this one. We're scoreless here early as Jimmy Sullivan gets out to Logan Heath for a nice pickup. Same drive, Sullivan drops back to pass, but switches to see what he can do on his legs. He sheds a tackle before he's brought down after a short game. A few plays later, Carroll knocking on the door as Sullivan gets lost in the crowd here, but waltzes in for the touchdown. Chargers lead 7-0. Carroll offense back out there, and Sullivan swallowed up in the backfield by a host of legends. Northside offense looking to get something going as Tristan Newsom rolls out and launches deep downfield to Malik Moore, who makes the grab for down to the two. That sets up this easy punch in for Newsom. Legends tie the ball game. But the Chargers come out on top in a 38-22 final. At Bishop Dwanger tonight, the Saints looking to bounce back after their loss to Snyder last week, taking on Concordia, who's winless in their last six games. Both teams came out fired up for Week 9, Concordia on the opening drive. Play number two, the Cadets QB looks downfield, but Dwanger's Thomas Fiore is able to pluck the pass right out of the air for the INT on the Saints' opening drive. They're going to do some good stuff. They march right down the field, and Russell Nipshear punches it in from close. Dwanger goes up 7-0 early. Just a few minutes later, it's 14-0 Saints. Cadets, they're going to be looking downfield again, but unfortunately, it's going to be a similar result. Dwanger's Houston Ellinger is able to read the play, and the Saints get another interception, but he's taking this one to the house. 34 yards, but the Saints up 20. They go on to win 41-7. And over at Lewis Field, the Knights taking aim at visiting Homestead. We're all tied up at seven in the second half as Daria Williams gets the rock, follows his blocks, and finds an open lane for a nice game. Then Devin Patterson drops back to pass and launches deep to two open receivers where the ball bounces off both of them for the incomplete pass. Lewis still driving. The handoff goes to D. Hogue, and he'll take this one down just outside the red zone. Next play here, Patterson rolls out to pass and finds a wide open Charlie McBride, and he walks right in for the score, but the Spartans roar back to secure the win in this one in a 25-14 final. The Northrop Bruins playing host to Southside tonight. We picked this one up late in the second quarter. Northrop up six, Southside knocking on the door. Chris Moon breaks a few tackles and finds Pater. The seven-yard touchdown ties things up 6-6 going into half. On the other side of the break, Northrop, through a series of good play calls, is able to march downfield thanks to a first down for some hard running from legend Rulu and a nice catch from Jamari Brown. Eventually, Brown and the Bruins, they're going to find the end zone. And on that drive, putting Northrop up eight, the Bruins go on to win a tight one, 20 to 19, the final. And over at Wayne, the Generals hosting Snyder. Panthers up 14-0 in the second half as Harold Mack unloads looking deep, and that's picked off by Allen Bolton. Snyder offense back out there as Aaron Vance finds Keaton Robinson open over the middle for a nice gain. That sets up this run from Braylon Burton, who races down the sideline and in for the Panthers' score as the Panthers take a 21-0 lead. Wayne offense hoping to respond as Mack tosses this downfield, and that's another Snyder interception as the Panthers pick up the win on the road in a 21-8 final. Switching to any eight action now, Leo hosting DeKalb on senior night. The Barons hoping to make it three straight wins over conference foes, but Leo's making sure that doesn't happen here. It's already Q3 and up 28-0. Land Landon Hepner goes untouched 17 yards to put Leo up 35. Later on in the third quarter, Leo goes back to the ground game, and it's QB keeper Titus Stoller. He strolls in from 44 yards to pile on the points for Leo. DeKalb trying to make something happen in the fourth. Xavier Bell hauls in the pass. He takes it 76 yards to get the Barons on the board, but it's too little too late as Leo rolls 48-7 to the final. And still more to come tonight on the score. Down in Monroeville, Heritage hosts ACAC foes Jay County in a battle of the Patriots. The highlights of that matchup and more next on the score. Closed captioning on ABC 21 is made possible by...